<laughs> you stepped on it. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Yes. yes. That's what it's called. All right. Thank you for joining us on our another episode that we have here. And uh, what's it about today? Well, today we're going to tell the, the audience out there about uh, about penises. Their male penises. Well, that includes just you penises. women. Just penises. Uh, Fifteen of them, and you know, so well, to here, be exact. To huh? be exact, yes. Okay. All right. Well, so they know. Yeah. So I guess we'll start with number one. Number uno. Smoking can shorten your penis by as much as a centimeter. Erections are all about good blood flow, uh, good blood flow, and lighting up. And lightning, lighting, <laughs> and lighting up calcifies blood. Oh, lighting up, okay. <laughs> <laughs> lighting up calcified okay. blood vessels. Yes. yes. Stif <laughs> stifling erection circulation. So. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. The rest of it goes on to say, so if you if you don't care about that much, about it that much, your lungs are dying young. Spare the spare, spare the, the little, little guy. guy. <laughs> so number two, which would suck for you for the first one, but anyway, number two, doctors can grow skin for burn victims using the foreskin of circumcised infants. Ouch. One foreskin, <laughs> one foreskin can produce 23,000 square meters. Holy shit. I mean, holy crap. That um, is a... Uh... Which would be enough to tarp every major league infield <laughs> with human flesh. Wow. Oh my god. That is crazy. And a large... Um, no, oh, well, what guess. could you use that for besides, uh, like, tarping... Emergency parachute. Ah. Never thought <laughs> of that. Yeah. That shit is pretty, uh... Uh, stretchable, stretchy. you know, elastic. I don't know about you, once mine gets warmed up, it's like a fucking tent. Oh my god. It just happens! But then again, it's just like, when it's cold, yeah, see you later. I just thought of alien. <laughs> <laughs> alien. Face hugger. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> number three. Number three, an enlarged prostate gland can cause both erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation. If you have an unexplained case of either, your doctor's looking forward to checking your prostate. I don't know about you, but uh, that's not my favorite part of the test. I've, they've never had my prostate. They've looked at it before, but they haven't. They've looked at the outside. So, they how just, do they look at the outside? Do they just like open your ass and? Yeah, no, they have me bend over. Inside. They have me bend over, and they just looked at the at the, the <laughs> anal area. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. And, but yet you're like growing this no. like gigantic well, they, golf ball. No, they did that check for hemorrhoids, basically. Well, yeah, but hemorrhoids isn't the same as an, <laughs> an, I'm just an enraged I prostate. Just wanted to say that involved. I had a doctor look at my butthole. Huh. Okay. Oh, that's why you want to get it all nice and uh, yes. waxed. Yes. Yes. Because God knows they don't want to dig through that chunk. <laughs> <laughs> so they just said nope, ain't happening. I'm not sure where my hand will. If my, I'll ever get my hand back. Anyway. Well, fact number three. That was number three. Or number four. <laughs> my bad. The average male orgasm lasts six seconds. Women get 23 seconds. Is that fair? No, I feel like... I feel like, uh... They should have multiple orgasms compared to our one orgasm. So we should have just one and not multiple like theirs? Right. Do you think we should have a 23 second <laughs> orgasm like them? Exactly. Maybe we should switch places so they can be like... Feel how we feel. Feel how a we little, feel. A little left out. And like, they always... Ah, wonder, it's over. And they always wonder why we want to keep going. Yeah, right. They're like, I can't, I'm tired, I'm done. But they get 23 seconds, so they should let us get done at least four times. <laughs> at least four times. Yes. Yes. Don't you... Yeah, but... There is like this... Uh, this transfer of energy between you and your spouse. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, most men will just get tired afterwards and just go right to sleep. Most women just get excited and, well, not excited, but, you know, revved up and ready to go do whatever else, like jogging a fucking mile. It must be the testosterone. 
It is a fact. It, it just does. Maybe it doesn't work for you. Maybe you're just... I'm the Energizer Bunny. Maybe you're not the Energizer Bunny if it doesn't sound like it's ever happened to you. Like, I don't get tired. <laughs> oh, okay. Then you must be the Energizer Bunny. Well, anyway, she gets really tired afterwards. Well, she does. Yeah. <laughs> Could bring her on and let her... Okay, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, penis fact number five. 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 For those uh, Germans viewing, fumpf. Fumpf. That just makes it sound like you're saying fumpf. nothing. Fumpf. You're making a noise like, oh, I just fumpf them. What? Sorry. No. Well, the oldest known species with a penis is a hard-shelled sea creature called Kalimbosithin eplectikos. And that's Greek for amazing swimmer with a large penis. Coil, <laughs> koi... I think it's Kalimbosithin. I thought it's Kalimbosithin Eplecitus. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Well, for you people it's interested, Greek. we will list these for you. <laughs> yes, it is It is from a uh, men's health article online here. So We thought it would be good for the world to know. Yes, we, uh, we'll, we'll put it in the link below. But anyway, next... <laughs> Uh, fact number six, circumcised foreskin can be reconstructed, movable skin on the shaft of the penis is pulled toward the tip and set in a, set in place with tape. Later doctors apply plastic rings, caps, and weights. Oh, years, what? Can, years can pass until complete coverage is attained. Son of a, how? Uh, Recircum what did they do? I feel like that would make it shorter. Yeah, but what did they do? Like, like, what did they do to deserve that? Like, what? It's just people that want to have, want to be recircumcised. Oh, really? really? Not to, or or uncircumcised. uncircumcised? Okay, yeah. uncircumcised. Okay. Cause, you know, because when you're a baby, they're not really asking you, hey, hey, how, you like, how do you think? I bet we're thinking, what the, whoa, whoa, whoa. And the doctor gets in there, clipping me like, oh my god. I, I keep thinking, like, we're going to see, like, what we've seen on Men in Tights with the rabbi. Oh, God. <laughs> and the guillotine. <laughs> Shrink. Oh, my <laughs> So, yeah, I'm definitely not wanting to get it. So, what else do we have here? Well, what were we doing? We just did number six. Uh, did you? Yeah, yes, you did yes, number did. six. Number seven. Number seven. Only one man in 400 is flexible enough to give himself oral pleasure. Wait, what? <laughs> Did you read that right? Yes. Only one at? man in 400 is flexible enough to give himself oral pleasure. It is estimated, however, that all 400 have given their best shot at some point. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, guys. I, don't... I I cannot say that I, I've done this. I, How about you? I, no comment. I would, say that <laughs> I would say that I probably have never attempted it more than once. So more than once. Okay. Why, well, you know, you should try at least everything once, right? You know you have. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't. Penis fact number eight. Okay. There are two types of penises. One kind expands and lengthens and becomes erect. It is called a grower. The other appears big most of the time, but doesn't get <laughs> much bigger after achieving erection. This is called a shower. Wait. So, so the poll's up now. Which would you rather be, a grower or a shower? So you're asking me if I want to show my stuff off to people? You just show it off. Basically, it would be full length, and then when you get erect, it just stays the same. It just becomes erect. Or you'd be tiny, small when you're like not erect, but then it grows to massive lengths or to your normal. But you're length. not showing anybody that. But you're saying. not. So when you pull your pants down, so everybody's gonna know. see. I always assume that, you know, if you're a grower, you know, you don't show it, of course, no matter what size it is. But if you're a shower, it just means that, you know, just like, hey, look. Yeah, you look, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? And it's like that. Whether, whether it's of size or not, but apparently there must be some type of facts in here that says that most men are tiny <laughs> that show it, apparently. Well... It just appears to be smaller. Like, well, that's not impressive. But then when you get going, it's just like... Well, I think they call that uh, a hidden talent. <laughs> talent. <laughs> hey, you want to see a disappearing act? <laughs> <laughs> it's really cold in here, guys. Oh, my God. 
Wait, 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 where is it at? Okay, there we go. Fact number nine. An international men's health survey reports that 79% of men have growers and 20% have showers. Or 21% have showers. Like, these are just men that don't show are 79% and then the ones that actually want to just show it off are the 21% is what you're saying? Yeah, well what I do sometimes... If uh, I guess if I'm gonna get, go, get in front of the mirror, if, if you're getting uh, if you're getting in the getting in the zone, you know that something's about to happen with your lady. You know, <laughs> you go to the bathroom and you give it a few good shakes, and that way, it appears bigger. Healthy tip for you guys. You do what? Give give it a few shakes. <laughs> you know, to make it become fl flaccidly erect. Do you understand? So you're just like, wait, baby. No. I gotta go to the bathroom and. Or, hey. when, or just when she's not looking. Oh, when she's just not looking. Give What's two. going on back there? Fat, 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 fat. Nothing. <laughs> no. Nothing. She's coming in. And, and, and that, that could be impressive. It's a good trick. Okay. Interesting. I never, I never thought of that. I will have to try that. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm going to do it. I'm like, oh, my God. He's, he's right. I never knew this. Oh. Well, number 10 German researchers say that the average intercourse lasts 2 minutes 50 seconds, yet women perceive it as lasting 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Are we that good or that bad? So they're saying well, that women, it feels longer to women than it does to men. Right. So I guess that maybe that's why we feel shorthanded. Ah, uh, okay. Because women are like, you. wow, we've been going for hours. we be like, no, it's only been, it's like, been 10 like 10 minutes. Two, it's been like 2 minutes. I mean, come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we just lay here. We just lay here. We don't even have to move. Just stay still. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, it's okay. God. It hasn't been that long. It just hasn't. If I could see where this was taking place, they would be very concerned. <laughs> well, that's true. This is completely ghetto. Which we like to say is... Uh, not nothing you want to see right now. Because it's not a snuff video. Don't worry. Our studio is... Not, Apparently not got not bugs. <laughs> uh, gnats. Gnats. There's a gnat. Or Flying three. around my face. Three. <laughs> anyway. It's okay. Well, uh, number 11. It turns out size does matter, but we all knew that already. The young... I the, didn't. The, I was just... My mom said I was amazing. I didn't think size or anything else mattered. Oh, good. Not, not that I'm saying... Wait a minute. Not that I'm saying that I did anything with my mother. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm just saying, in general, you know, Mom, you're wrong, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just drop I'm that. I'm going to have you is. know that my mother never says anything about my penis. <laughs> my mom never said anything about my penis either. Oh, uh, I don't know. But it turns out size Except does whenever matter. she was. Although I do have a, I do have a uh, little thing to tell you. Oh Jesus! <laughs> when I, I, I'll just, I'll just share it. Okay, share it with the world. When I was a kid, uh, I think I was like four or five. Okay. And apparently, you didn't. I remember this. Oh God. Uh, well, I, mean, I remember part of it. It might not be completely. My mom might be able to tell you a little more about it. But Did you want to get I, your mom down here? <laughs> no. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> no, we, uh, I, don't, I just remember, uh, saying, hey, mom, and something, apparently I had a, an erection, <laughs> so I was like, look, mom, she goes, what are you doing, Jimmy, and I was like, it's a springboard, and I was like, flicking it, and going, doing, and I was like, boing, boing, she's like, quit playing with yourself, Jimmy, <laughs> and I keep doing it, she's like, stop it, <laughs> It was pretty good. But, you know, being that young, oh my. anything like that's new. Oh, God. And fun and interesting. So, yeah, you can go ahead now. Oh, God. It's embarrassing, but I'm all right with it. All right, it turns out that size does matter. The longer your penis, the better semen displacement you'll achieve when having sex with a woman. <laughs> with so, a woman. you're saying to flush, the longer, to the flush out, It flushes out competing sperm. So, if this woman is a whore, right. and she's having sex with lots of dudes, the bigger your penis is, the more likely it is that you'll be the one that gets her pregnant. So, this is because you know that she cheated on you, and you're like, I'm going to just impregnate you. Fuck you. Literally. I mean, beep that. And metaphorically. <laughs> but either way. No, I don't know. That's, I guess, so... But I just don't understand why anybody would want to sleep with somebody knowing that the, they cheated on. I 
But they don't have to know. Well, but then when true. you find out that it's not your baby because of <laughs> a specific, like, <clears throat> discoloration. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I could have... You know what? They... I From what I noticed... Uh, well, not noticed, but from what I was reading, like, they... they of colored children come out more, uh, more whitish, and then they kind of pigment up to I the see. darker and whatnot. So but then places. I could be wrong, but, you know. Uh, we're all white on the inside. I thought pink that, was it. That sounds racist. I don't mean it that way, though. <laughs> white power! No. Although, no. <laughs> all semen is white. That is true. So we're all related in that fact, and I think we should unite over that. Well, technically, we're all related to a blade of grass and just dirt in general when you come down to our complete structure. I'm so glad that I'm... Are you trying to get I'm so, I'm so glad that I'm connected to a tree. So this way, whenever I see him being cut down, I can be like, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. What about when you use them to heat your house? Well, them, them babies are nice and warm. That's all I can say. <laughs> That's... I beeped up. <laughs> no. Anyway, next. Oh. A little off subject there. Oh, right, well. Okay. Number 12. The penis that's been enjoyed by most women could be that of King Fatefahe. Fatefahe. Uh, I think it's Fatefahe. Of Tonga, who supposedly deflowered 37,800 women before the year, or between the years of. <laughs> Uh, 1770 and 1784. So that's a period of 14 years, and that's seven virgins a day. He just didn't want to share, is what you're saying. Well, he's the king. Well, he might be the king, he just doesn't want to share. I think he just said... How many kids did he actually have, though? I don't know. I have no idea how many kids he had. We could totally look into that, though, at some point. Not right now. True. We gotta get through these lists. We can just add it to the thing and say... This is what it was. Yeah, well, but anyway, okay. next. Number 13. Better looking men have stronger sperm. Spanish researchers show that women photo, or showed women photos of guys who had good, average, and lousy sperm and told them to pick the handsomest men. The women chose the best sperm producers most, most often. Most often. I feel like that test was rigged, firstly. I, I find that hard to believe that the best ones are the or the best looking ones are the ones that create the most or better sperm. Right. I just find that hard to believe. Four to five cups a day, I think, is very good production. Well, I was up to about eight. I decided to cut it back. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Like a horse. <laughs> Number <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ah, number 14. No brain is necessary for ejaculation. That order comes from the spinal cord. Really? Finding at, well, according to the facts, sir. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> that we don't know if these are actually true, but... Well, yeah. it's in a big magazine, so I mean, just assuming, like, most people, that the public media isn't we'll hope lying that they to did. us. Yeah, we'll hope that they did their uh, research. Well. Right, yes. <laughs> yes. We are not plagiarizing. We are informing... So, no brain is necessary for ejaculation. That order comes from the spinal cord, finding a living vessel for said ejaculation. However, it takes hours to, and careful thought and often considerable amounts of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> well, that part may not be true. But so, so, if I tickled you right now on your spine, in the right spot, it would just be weird. It would be very odd. <laughs> I don't think oh, that, my pants are getting wet. I don't think oh. that that's... Oh, my God. I don't think that's what would happen at all. I can't stop, guys. Oh, Jesus. Anyway. Number 15. The most common cause of penile rupture is vigorous masturbation. Uh, um, I'll be the first to say that I vigorously, I vigorously masturbate. <laughs> yes. Um, depending on... Uh, how many times in the day, you know? It, it just, I can't help it. And I've never really thought about it breaking. But then we saw some interesting... Uh, photos. Photos of what happens when they And break. let's just say it it, it looks like a, a gigantic, like, uh, boil that you get from a sun. Like a sunburn, a really bad sunburn. Like, like a cantaloupe? Yeah, they call it cantaloupe weenie. <laughs> Can 
Oh god. Or no, well, no, I don't know. Is that cantaloupe weenie? No, cantaloupe weenie is different. That's just breaking your penis. Yeah, cantaloupe weenie. Which we're gonna talk to you about here in just a second, because um, I believe that's it with this one, right? Uh, it's about the same thing. Yeah, basically. Except it isn't ma it isn't from masturbation. Yes, it's not from masturbation. So let's 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 talk about this here. All right, cantaloupe weenie, as of Urban Dictionary's like definition. Urban During the engagement of sexual intercourse, one's penis might slip out <laughs> and come into contact with a non-penetrable area, resulting in a broken penis. We've all hand had this happen at one time or another. Yes. And after some time, the penis in question will become inflamed and swollen, <laughs> imitating the sort of bulge or quotation. <laughs> Cantaloupe shape. <laughs> penis. On the shaft of the penis or weenie. <laughs> weenie. And. Weenie hut generals! We will give you the use of description in a sentence form. Okay. Last night, I this was. This guy, apparently. <laughs> this guy was getting it on. All of a sudden, it slipped out and nailed her taint. It nailed her right in the taint. You know, I, the part between your butthole and the ball sack? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that little piece of skin. Yeah. So I, I, I Just think, in case nobody knows. He thinks he broke his dick. <laughs> Man, he's going to have fat penis. Penis. Oh, he thinks he broke his penis. Man, I'm going to have a fat cantaloupe weenie. <laughs> and that is how that works. That is pretty much what, what causes a cantaloupe weenie. So, oh, that was... Fifteen interesting ones, and one that is was just a funny thing to talk about, I thought. Uh, and these pictures are fantastic. Oh, God, what is going on? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Where is it coming from? I don't know! Oh, right there. Turn it right there. Oh, no, that's different. Shut up! Oh. Oh. Ah! I got her. Shut up. So... But anyway, that was 15 facts with an interruption from a very, dis <laughs> a very distraught female computer virus, <laughs> apparently. Shelly comes on every once in a while. It's not from porn, I can guarantee you that. I know, I understand. Um, I think uh, she's I, lying to me, though. Think, but anyway, so. thank you for joining us today on Good Morning, Good Afternoon, and Good Night. There'd be like some movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>